Thank you very much. Thank you very much, members of the Fourth Estate. Dear Kenyans, today I would like to share something deeply personal, something I rarely talk about. Let me therefore have a few minutes of your time to have you travel with me in time as we jump into the future. Many have asked about my background, many have been interested in my story, many have asked me about what else to creative industry in Kenya. Many have sought to know my proposal for improving the creative economy in Kenya. And that is what I am here today. I'm here to set the record straight, I'm here to share my story, I'm here to advise, I'm here to inspire. In sharing, it is my hope that I will inspire and educate. More importantly, I hope that all the listeners will be entertained. Dear friends, a decade ago, I arrived in Nairobi, and like many who find themselves in this beautiful city of Nairobi, with not easy to master roads, I was hosted by relatives. At this point, your guess is as good as mine. I faced baptism by fire, and I kept relying on manual work for survival. Things got worse to the extent that at one point I had to stay in a semi-permanent room in Udiru next to a cow pen. The conditions were harsh, the stretch of the cow shed became a constant in my makeshift house and I had to endure the flow of a cow urine into my living space. However, I believe that this challenging period laid the foundation for my resilience and determination. It was through this struggle that I discovered my passion for comedy and the performing arts. Little did I know that this hardship would be the crucible for my transformation into a recognized figure within Kenya, Kenya's cultural landscape. Many of you know that in 2022, I ventured into the political arena, expressing my interest in the presidency, but recognizing the slim chances of victory, I withdrew my candidacy to support His Excellency William Samuel Arap Ruto. I must say that I anticipated opportunities within the government given my support to President William Samuel Ruto, yet my appeals for a role were met with disappointment. The few times I tried to lobby for a position in the government to represent the aspiration of youth was met with harsh criticism from senior government officials noting that I ranked extremely low in the hierarchy of potential placements. People who I had assumed would assist me shunned me instead and started fighting me left, right and center. To find my place and contribute positively, I turned to social media. Utilizing satire and comedy, I engaged with the audience particularly by using humor in critics of the opposition leaders. However, guided by well-meaning advice from friends and strangers alike, I shifted my focus exclusively to comedy, ultimately cultivating a significant and supportive following. Today, along luminaries such as His Excellency President William Samoe Ruto, the Prime Minister Babu Ataifa Raila Molodinga, Faith Kipkiegon, Eliud Kipchoge, I, proud, I proudly stand as one of Kenya's most recognized figure in Kenya and East Central Africa. My success serves as, as a, my success serves as a statement as a testament to the incredible impact of nurturing and promoting artistic talent. I must admit that online media played an instrumental role in shaping my trajectory. In this experience fuels my unvarying and unwavering commitment to advocating for online media, knowing firsthand its potential to be a substantial employer and a lifeline for the most deserving talents. Hence, my passion for the proposed reform stems from a genuine belief in the trans transformative power of media, of online media. It is not just conduit for entertainment, it is a gateway to opportunities, especially for those in dire need for platform to, show, to showcase their talents. Recognizing the broader challenge faced by artists and creative industry, I call upon our member, members of parliament to take decisive action uh, 
and also I also urgently need to establishment of robust infrastructure to support talent development along with formal recognition and backing of for online media. Additionally, I propose the facilitation of government advertising within creative sector to foster growth and sustainability. To further fortify our creative industry, I advocate for imposition of substantial taxes on visiting artists. Waiver should only be granted if promoter actively engage local talents for collaborative performance during such event. Moreover, I strongly recommend the enactment of legislation mandating that 85% of content in our media houses be produced by local artists. Failure to promptly implement the essential reforms will be granted as an unfront to online media and artists. In response, I prepare to lead a concerted campaign for change. In recent discussion with 10 sitting MP, MPs, I have, I have received assurance of their commitment to champion these causes. I want to, take, I want to make it clear that my commitment to this proposal is not mere rhetoric. I pledge to ensure that members of parliament who do not support this crucial reform lose their seats. This is not an idle threat. It is a promise that I long with fellow, uh, with, along with fellow artists and media advocates will actively work towards. In conclusion, let us stand united in fostering an environment where talent can thrive and where the creative industry becomes a powerhouse for our nation's prosperity. Together, we can bring out the change we envision and secure a brighter future for countless upcoming artists waiting for, the, for their moment in their spotlight. With gratitude and, and with, grati with gratitude, determination, and steadfast commitment to the arts, I, Dr. Kasipul Kapon, Chawa Rais, Ukipenda Mwite Chef. Wapendo wa Kingereza, CEO Kitu ya Kuchezewa. Stories are 254. And you are watching Stories are 254. Check the wiki. Thank you.